guys we are back we got our wells catfish when i got home yesterday uh all i did was i gutted the catfish you can see right here the stomach cavity is open i pulled out the guts and that's it i put this thing in the fridge that's actually a good tip for you guys that don't know that aren't aware of that that if you are going if you don't plan on eating the fish the day of if you don't want the fresh fish if you gut it put it in the fridge that'll firm up the meat and then you can flay it the next day and it's actually a little bit easier to flay so we got the the wells catfish that we caught yesterday we're going to go ahead and get right to it and flay this bad boy up right behind the pectoral fin cut down till we hit the backbone now wells catfish are a little interesting to the fillet just because they're not just because their body shape is a little bit different than your typical fish so we'll make it work so cut right down there to the spine and once you found once you have found the spine turn the knife and then you're just going to cut along that backbone like you would any other fish. So there we go. There's our two catfish fillets. I'm gonna go get a bowl to put those in real quick. All right guys, so now I have a bowl. I will put the fillets in there for now. I'll rinse them off, get some of the blood out before I cook them. But there's our fillets. We got a nice plate, deep plate bowl, whatever you wanna call it, worth the fillets. Now, that brings us to our roach and rudd clean portion. So here they are guys, what I've done is all I've done is I've cut from the little anal opening, cut it up to the, like the chin, and then you can go ahead and just pull all the guts and all that stuff out just like that, that's what I did. So you can see this one's still got a little bit, so that's a good example. Now I'm gonna pull the gills out of them. So kind of clean them out like this. Those look to be done. Now, I go against, the, you can feel which way the scales go, right? And I'm just gonna knock all the scales off. This guy's already missing some scales. So, just use my knife to go against the pattern of the scales, the grain of the scales, and you'll see them coming off. Because obviously we don't want to eat those if we're frying the whole fish. You just want the skin, you don't want all the scales. So, Knock that off. All right, guys, there we have it. There are our scaled and gutted roach and rudd and there are the wells catfish fillets so we are good to go i'm going to put these in the fridge and then tomorrow we're going to go and get after it cook them up give them the old taste test all right guys so here we have it we have our wells catfish you can see this is pretty white meat we have our whole roach and rudd right here so roach rudd wells catfish you can see it's nice and white and what we're going to do the oil, as you can hear it, is ready to go. So we made our sauce here, courtesy of Vlad, one of the subscribers, recommended this sauce here. It's garlic, it's got some mayo, it's got some yellow mustard, some salt and stuff like that. Then we're gonna use that. That is gonna go with the whole fried rudd and roach. Now this, on the other hand, I'm just a redneck, I'm just a redneck from Florida. So what I do with my catfish is I do a little bit of, you can do different sort of 
breading, but I'm gonna use the Italian breadcrumbs and some Franks as a wash. So if you guys have watched any of the other catch and cooks I've done, I've, uh, that's how I've cooked the fish. And the whole roach and rudd are gonna go into some seasoned flour right here, and the whole fish is gonna go right in that oil. So let's go ahead, get started, and see how this turns out. So let's start with the, we'll start with the whole fish first. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start grabbing these, these guys and just throwing them in the flour, the whole fish right there in the flour. Heads are still on, I'm not afraid to eat a head, or at least be scared by a head. So that guy is good. We're gonna go ahead and toss him in right meow. And as you can see, he's frying up. That's the first one, that was a rud. This is also a rud, it appears to be a rud. Again, I got corrected in the last video by my boy, Luca. He's corrected me a couple times now because I always mess up the roach versus the rud, but hey man, I'm just an American trying to figure it out. So that guy's going in. wait for the roach and the rud is we can go ahead and start cutting up our wells catfish in a little chunk so we can start getting that prepared so let's go ahead and do that so you guys can see the wells you can see the pretty white fillet here it's nice white i'm gonna cut this off pretty white there for the most part I'll bring some of that in to work later somebody's gonna eat some but uh, we're just gonna cut this into nice chunks like that you guys watch me fillet that up already so we're just gonna go ahead and cut it into some chunks bread those up and then fry them up see some chunks I don't, I don't know size of your two fingers or so like that there we go there's our world's catfish ready to be put into the Frank's wash and we will begin doing that like so and it, what it does you put it in the wash and then from the wash it goes into the Italian breadcrumbs so you get a little bit of that Frank's and then you get the Italian breadcrumbs let's see how it turns out this is how I used to eat it as a kid with the Italian breadcrumbs so, again, it goes into the franks as a wash, and that, what that does is it gives you flavor, plus it binds the uh, Italian breadcrumbs. It'll actually use it, it makes it a little more sticky so that stuff sticks on there better. Some people use egg wash and stuff, but uh, I like the little bit of bite that I get from the franks. So, roll it in there, straighten there, just do them all at once. So, I'll just kind of toss it, get those breadcrumbs covering the pieces of fish just like so just kind of toss it don't be afraid you're not gonna hurt the fish let's check out these roach and rudd all right they're frying up you can give them a little flip action I don't know if that oil is quite not hot enough not quite hot enough but they're starting to fall apart, which is what we want. So, give them a flip. Keep them on there a little bit longer. fish are fried up rudd and roach and now I'm gonna start chucking these directly on the oil these are catfish chunks
All right, guys, so we are done with the cook part. Here's what we got. We have, that's a roach, three rud, okay? And then we have our Wells catfish fried up in the Frank's Red Hot and the Italian breed, uh, breadcrumbs. So first I will start, I heard the roach is not as good as the rud, so I'll start with the roach, I'll go to the rud, and then I'll go to the catfish. So we have all three of the species that we caught the other day when we were out fishing, we caught uh, a number of, a number of, uh, Roach and Rudd, one nice catfish, the surprise catfish. So the multi-species catch and cook is about to go down, the actual eat part of it. And uh, let's do a taste test. Let's see how we're at, boys. So we will start with, this is the roach right here. So first we'll start with the rud, with the roach. Now, I will try to eat this with a fork, but I'm, I'm basically a Neanderthal. I'm just gonna end up grabbing it with my hands. I'm assuming, sorry guys if I look like a pig, but that's how it's gonna have to go down. So here's the roach. And the meat looks white. Okay, I, I, I hope I cooked these long enough. I think I did, but they're supposed to be a little bit darker color, I believe. But um, that's where we're at. We they're edible, I think, regardless. So the the meat is white on the roach. Let's go ahead and taste dip in that sauce that I got from my man Vlad. So that's garlic, mayo, and mustard, I believe. So yeah, that's what it is. Garlic, mayo, mustard, and a little bit of salt. So let's go ahead and take, uh, get a taste test. This is the roach first. Not bad. So not bad at all. In the, it's got white white meat. If you guys can see that, I don't know. I hope so. That sauce is pretty good too. Um, a little bit fishy. Tastes a, maybe a little fishy, but uh, overall not bad. It's crispy. Some of these bones look like they kind of burnt up. For the most part, not bad. So that was the roach. It was okay. Now we will go to a rud. Here's the rud right here. Do the same thing, get that back meat because there's no bones in there. And I'm gonna try this without the sauce just so I get taste the, the actual fish better. Pretty good. Pretty good. <clears throat> That's actually better than the roach. It's not as fishy and uh, a little bit firmer than the than the than the roach. The rud is a little bit firmer and not as mushy than the than the ro with than the roach, which is actually what Vlad told me. So maybe it's he's already planted that seed in my head. But overall, I think the rud is a little bit better than the roach. So try two of those. Try to roach. Try to rud. Let's move on to the Wells catfish. So I've had Wells catfish before, so I know it's pretty good, but prepared a little bit differently this time i did the frank's red hot as the wash and then i used italian breadcrumbs as the uh as the actual the breading part of it so actually i'm gonna taste taste this without the the sauce first and of course it's pretty darn good without the sauce let's try it with the sauce i think i might use sorry i might use a little bit too much garlic on there but uh not bad but the catfish, the catfish is the winner, boys. I'm going to be honest. They're all good. But that catfish is where it's at. That Frank's Red Hot. You can taste the Frank's. It's not really spicy, but you taste the Frank's. And then the Italian breadcrumbs. It's good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was the catch and cook. We had a multi-species catch and cook. We had a roach. We had a rud, we had a Wells catfish. They were all good. We went out and we caught every everything we caught, we brought home, we tried it. I like the Wells catfish the best, followed by the rud, and lastly the roach. But none of it was bad. So I appreciate my man Vlad out there giving me the tips. My man Luca helping me actually identify which fish was which. And I appreciate everybody out there for watching, all the subscribers, all the supporters. And if you're a new viewer, make sure you guys go down and like the video, subscribe, do all that stuff that I'm supposed to tell you to do as a YouTuber. And uh, stay safe out there. From beautiful Bavaria, Germany, let's get it.